Shalom, beloved. Our verse for today is the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, chapter 1, verse 8. It reads, Even if we or an angel from heaven should proclaim to you a gospel contrary to what we preach to you, let that one be accursed. The first thing to note here is that traditionally in Paul's letters, Paul begins with an introduction and greeting, and then he gives thanks to God about something concerning the community, and then he delves into the theme of the letter. But in this particular letter to the Galatians, Paul begins as usual with introduction and greeting, that is chapter 1, verses 1 to 5, and then what follows immediately in verse 6 is, I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you in the grace of Christ and turning to a different gospel. This means that turning to a different gospel is a very important theme in this letter and a big reason, a big motive why Paul was writing to the Galatians. So important that he even forgot writing the normal thanksgiving that he used to write. But the important question here is, what is this different gospel? Paul had thought that Christ is the source, the primary source of our salvation. We are saved primarily, fundamentally, by the grace wrought by Christ, by his passion, death, and resurrection. Christ has opened for us the door of life, and it is through Christ that we have life. But when Paul had left Galatians, some Judaizers came and began to teach that for one to be saved, one must go according to the stipulations of the law of old. These commandments of old included circumcision and so on, and we remember at this point that the Pharisees and the scribes and others had stipulated from the divine laws in the Bible 613 laws, complicated. And now they are saying that for one to be saved, most, one must keep to the letters of this law. It is therefore no more the grace of Christ primarily that saves, but by following the stipulations of this law. We remember here the Pharisee who was praying and uh, justifying himself because he was counting the things he was doing, things stipulated by the law. Paul is saying no. What Paul is saying is not that we just by believing justification by faith alone by believing we become justified no paul was not downplaying keeping the laws of god after all he will say in the same letter that the fruits of the spirit are love joy peace self-control and so on these are the things that fulfill the law however paul is saying that without Christ, we cannot attain salvation. Dearly beloved, in the world today, there are many voices. There are many people saying different things, even from the high quarters, confusing us as we make our step day by day towards God. Let us not forget that Christ himself stipulated clearly I am the way, the truth, and the life. He is not a way. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. We pray, God, that nothing may distract us from following Christ closely. That day by day, we will follow Christ and from Him get the needed strength, the needed grace to keep the laws of God. It is in Christ that we will find salvation. And may it be so through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Remain blessed.